good evening everyone this is my project windows project school pro management okay so this is my project and the starting point of this project is form splash so this will get loaded up to 100 percentage when it get loaded it will navigate to a login form i have included two two logins here it is admin and teacher admin have access for all this module like student teacher attendance even fees this dashboard whereas for the teacher have only access for the attendance the rest of the module will get hidden from the teacher module so here is my module form attendance form dashboard and first i will start with the login okay so form login form register when i get login it will navigate to if, if there is a teach if is it it is teacher it will navigate to here if it is uh, admin it will navigate to here so and then on fees event student module teachers module like this we we can see here and also i have included the pdf for to take the attendance and we can mail it from there here it is the student student and i have included pdf for attendance so if we can see so let's start the project okay so i'm going to start the project it will get loaded it's loading and now see let's it's loading module 32 percentage okay it will get loaded till under if we want we can reduce or increase the time so i have two uh, i have no two name sam and sam one is an admin okay so if you want to reset we can reset it sam sam one department is on me i'm going to log in so valid user i have validated the fields and okay we have access yes access for student teacher admin dashboard fees events okay if you want to log out we can use this more use this uh, button if you want to close it we can use this button so i have a student so here is my student database please fill this all the field because i have included no edit okay that's why it's appearing so i'm going to include include a student 108 and his name is um, i mean his gender is male okay and what's his date of birth his date of birth is 2010 so class is 11th and fees is 20,000 and address is from OIM Vedu okay so I'm going to add it data it's added look at this it's added if you want to make a change for the fees we can make a change like 10,000 so look at it it's getting changed here okay and here is we can delete the module and if we click back it will go to teachers table we can insert their teacher table as well and if you want to close it we can close it we can go back we can edit the admin and the attendance for the student now let's see i have included the a108 right it's getting fetching fetch from that student table i have included the code also now it's getting disabled because if you change the name it will conflict with the database okay so date of attendance and we can make it present add so if you want to take a printout save pdf like we can save it in the local disk we can mail it to the appropriate teachers or headmasters so let's go back and look at it is events we can include the events i have already included the events here now i'm going back we can include the fees okay so 47000 from there 
I have, we have total of one, two, three, four, five teachers, and so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight student. So you can see here, see eight student, five teacher, four events have already conducted. Total fees collected is forty-seven thousand. We can log out from here. So all modules are now working fine. Now let's check it for the teacher. Okay, Paul is a teacher. Paul one he is a teacher. Department of teacher. When I get login, valid user. When I click student, no access for this. Teacher have only access for to update the attendance and to download the PDF and send it to the. Appropriate and respective teachers or you know headmaster. Okay, so this is a module I have done, and I have included primary and foreign key for student and attendance sheet, and already predefined primary key also is in there in their database and not null value also available. I have not included unique key because in this attendance uh, whenever every day we are going to update it. So if we get unique queue, it will get collapsed. Okay, I have included a logout. When I click logout, now let's see the logout. If I click the close button, now everything is closed. And thank you, thank you so much.